I was still very young in Port Elizabeth when this great movie, you know, we've been going to the cinemas, we call them bioscopes then, to see uh, Tex Rita, Roy Rogers, a little bit of the Caribbean in Indians with Spencer G. Bennett and the Tomahawks. We've never, ever, ever seen a black person on the screen. That was the whites only affair. And when Jim came, comes to Jobeck, was shown, it was like uh, a miracle. We saw black people in this movie. We saw black people talking. Some of the people we had seen in the Zonk magazine. Some of the people we could shout and say and scream, that's Dolly. Because Dolly, you see, was married to Welcome Duhu, who is a very great friend of mine in Port Elizabeth, and was an incredible singer, Dolly Rotebe. In fact, there was even a saying in the Tsotse Lingui, which is the, town, which is the language of the uh, township hustlers. If something is good, is perfect, there's Dolly, you know, then that's good. And that's how uh, she was perceived by us as young people in the township, you know. And it was incredible just to see, I mean, not going to the cinema and see an overseas film, but to see something South African. Later, Jim comes to Joburg, even became a cliche in the type of work that was uh, to follow in South Africa. All the kind of work that was dealing with the white man's point of view of what the black life is in South Africa was always referred to as a Jim comes to Joburg because it was, again, uh, their concept of what our lives are, are about, and must be. Even in theatre, if you did a play that dealt with the bad side of black people, the bad side uh, of our culture, of our language, of everything, it was always referred to, don't come with your gym, come to Job here. This country bumpkin coming into the city, get excited and become a thug. Yet it comes from a good, solid foundation, a background in the rural areas that is the, the essence of being, the essence of being African. But uh, people like Dolly were an incredible uh, inspiration to all of us young would be actors in the near future because then <laughs> we didn't know what acting was about. Showbiz was like taboo amongst our parents. Now to be in the showbiz, what does it mean? It means, as far as my father is concerned, you don't want to get a job. You want to be a lout, you want to hang around smoking dacha, wearing tattered jeans and low morals. That's being an artist. That was the end of it. So you couldn't dare go to your parent and say, I want to be an artist. He says, what are you talking about? You can't even sing, which was the worst thing for me. I can't even sing. But uh, pictures, as we called them then, like uh, Jim come to Joburg. And in fact, the ensuing life in the movies of people like Dolly Rotebe, Simon Sabella, uh, Sam Williams, there was, uh, I mean, many, many, Ken Gampu, where there's incredible influence in our lives. It was them we emulated, it was them we wanted to be. But Dolly specifically for me, because she was very successful, you know, in my father's eyes. He knew Dolly's uh, record, Dolly's songs. He knew Dolly when he saw Dolly in the uh, uh, Zonk magazine. I don't know whether he had an incredible crush on this beautiful lady. But once I said, I want to do what Dolly does, <laughs> I had his ear for the first time. It was their influence that made my father understand that you could make a profession out of this strange art form.